Hey Zombie Tactics, today uh, taking a look at a really unique product. I kind of introduced it briefly in a, in a future video when I was talking about the Sella gear bag from JTEC and Strike Industries. But here's another look at it. It is um, the Tachyon HD Ops camera. And in this case, it's specifically put in their gun cam kit. And you can kind of see that the camera is sitting inside of a of a very tough aluminum shell and rail mount system here. Uh, I'm going to show you some pictures of what the two pieces look like. Uh, a, a part not mounted like this, uh, just for, for clarity and with a bullet sitting next to them, specifically a 5.56 rifle round, so that you can kind of get a, a, an idea of the size of it, because sometimes scale is a little bit difficult to get on these kinds of YouTube videos. Well, you know, I've got all kinds of cameras. I've got the GoPro. I've got these consumer video cameras. I've got little, you know, I use my iPhone, all kinds of things to do videos. But it's very difficult to attach a camera, a video camera of any particular quality to a gun and get it to work right. And I've played with taking things like these little micro cameras that are available. Like I've got the, uh, the movie um, from, from, what is it, Vio, I think is the company that makes this movie. And I've tried attaching this to you know, sticky mount brackets and all kinds of stuff, and it just never really works out right. These are great little cameras to clip on your side of your head or something like that, and frankly, you know, the GoPro is really kind of good for that as well. But the Tachyon HD is, is really fitting into a really nice niche as a gun cam and as a more low-profile solution and probably a better solution for anything having to do with shooting gun foot footage than any of these other kind of fiddly things. And that's because they've done such a good job with this mounting system. Now I'm going to go ahead, uh, th it comes with an Allen wrench here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this apart really quickly on camera so that you can see how easily this is. Just with a simple Allen wrench this comes apart. And I'll show you what the camera looks like real quick. Boop, boop, boop. And so, you know, there's the mount. I took the top of the mount off, and here's the camera. The camera is pretty simple. The operation is simple. I'll show you some, some pictures here. If you look on the back of the camera, there's a couple of simple things. There's a, a switch to lock it in the on or off position. There's a switch that switches it between two different modes of photography. One of them is 720p with a fairly wide angle lens on it. Good resolution. Well, it's HD resolution, right? And the other one is uh, a still photograph mode that when you activate the camera, it'll take a still shot every few seconds. And I'll note in there exactly how many seconds in the, uh, the channel notes or the video notes here. And then on the back, you've got a little flip down, um, little flip down rubber gasket gadget. And that opens up where the USB port is for charging and also where the micro SD card goes. Look how small that is goes in here and I've got one here that's what 16 gigabytes uh, it has up to a four hour battery life I've tested that that's pretty close to how much battery life you're gonna get out of it in continuous video recording so that by itself is uh, kinda almost worth the price of admission uh, operation of this there are no special modes other than those that I've just talked to you about it's a 720p video camera or it's a still camera that's it you wanna start taking movies you hit the power switch, the light comes on, when it goes red, it might show up as amber on this camera, then you're taking movies. Eh, there I am. When you hit the power button again, you hold it, you let go, it's off. It's not taking movies or it's not taking pictures. That's it. You get the little chime to tell you it starts taking movies, you get the little beep to tell it, tell you the little beep beep to tell you that it's stopped taking movies or it's stopped taking pictures. As simple as it can be. You put it in the mount, and the mount is kind of ingenious in this respect as well, too, because rather than having all kinds of complicated modes that you've got to switch through on this camera to tell it, well, what position is the camera in for certain kinds of shooting, it's really simple. The top where it's um, uh, where the where the Tachyon logo is in, is uh, in, engraved here, that is up. You want to shoot in this position where you're setting it maybe on top of a rifle like this to get shots. Uh, I'll show in some shots here of what kind of uh, view you might get. Well, you put it in there like that. You want to put it in there sideways to get shots like this. Well, you flip it around 
like that to maybe have it facing forward mounted on a rifle or have it facing rearward on a rifle. You put it in the upside down position so that what you're going to do now is when it's upside down, that is, well, upside down, but it's made perfectly to fit on the front of a handgun now. So now, even though the camera is, uh, the, the mount is upside down, the camera is upside down in the mount, so now the camera is right side up, and this can be mounted on the front of a gun, any gun with a rail. They've gone so far as to get really smart about the fact that when you're going to put it on a handgun like this, the on-off switch is in a terrible position. So when it is in the upside down position, there's a button on the side that is used to start the camera and to stop the camera. Okay? So it's really well made as a gun cam. Frankly, I've not seen any better solution as a for a gun camera uh, uh, use case than the Tachyon HD. Now they make it in this HD model, they make it in a standard resolution model, they also make a smaller version of it that is uh, more designed to be waterproof. This is really not a waterproof camera. I would call it water resistant when it's sitting in the mount. Um, but it's nearly a perfect solution for a gun camera. Uh, when you go on their website, there's uh, if you want to get this kind of a setup, you've got to order the Tachyon Ops HD and then you've got to order the gun kit to go with it. And it's fairly inexpensive altogether. Uh, I think it's uh, slightly less than $200 for the entire setup. Now that doesn't come with just the camera and the gun mount. It comes with all the standard stuff to stick it on the front of your cap or a, you know, a headband. And it actually comes with a tripod mount, which I thought was kind of cool too. Because that's something you'd have to pay extra for with like the, um, the GoPro. So the Tachyon HD is a dang near perfect solution for gun camera type applications. They've uh, gone through a lot of trouble to make sure that it is well thought out in every respect for this kind of a, a use pattern. And that's kind of what, what works for it. They've gone so far as to make sure that it's shock mounted on the inside so that the memory card will not come loose when it's being jostled by, you know, maybe putting it on a powerful handgun or a shotgun or something like that. So, the Tachyon Ops HD gun cam setup I'll be showing some more footage, and you're going to see footage from this camera. You'll know where it's coming from in, in upcoming videos uh, as I uh, try the camera out and I go through tactical training and stuff like that. But just, man, good stuff here. I check it out on their website. Uh, that's Zombie Tactics for today with uh, the Ultimate Gun Cam. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.